It's time for everybody's favorite game. What's in your steel seat? Hey y'all, it's Johnny Up. I actually had to load my gear out of my house a couple days ago, so I thought this would be a good time to have some fun. We're gonna check out this steel guitar seat and then we'll look at what's inside. All right, so this is a Walker steel guitar seat. We got this second hand, but you can pick one up from a Steel Guitar East, Billy Knowles shop. Um, and it's kind of your standard seat. I got the, got the backrest, we got the side compartment, um, big compartment in here divided into three sections. Uh, handle in front, and a little snap to keep that down. Um, I will say the construction is very good. Padding is held up very well. Um, my one complaint is that when you pack up the legs, all right, so we got the little twist here. There's nothing to secure the legs down when we put them up, all right? So every time I'm carrying my seat out, this happens. And, you know, it's a little annoying. I'm sure it could be solved with some Velcro or something. Um, but anyway, let's get into what's in the seat. So before we dive in, here's a little bird's eye view of what I have in each compartment. And let's take a look. Okay, let's get into the side compartment. So first, for cleaning the guitar, glasses wipes. Next, gotta have a metronome. Okay, next we got my finger picks case. So each little compartment has a set of finger picks. So in case I drop one, just go into the next compartment and pull one out. Keeps it nice and organized. Here's my hex wrench tuner. Another glasses wipe. Here's my tone bar case. Got my uh, BJS and the Dobro slide. This little hex wrench is for tuning my split tunings and also um, is the same size as the screws for my bell cranks for moving those around. Sharpie and a pen for writing set lists. A sitar bar, one of my friends, uh, Jake Flint, he's got a couple great albums out you should check out. He made this for me, just sanded down. I don't know how he did it. <laughs> but he took one side down um, off an extra Dunlop bar I had. All right, string case. Got my Daddario strings, string winder. All separated and ready to go in case you break one in the middle of a set. Don't want to be tearing into the packaging in the middle of a set. All right. Next thing, tri-flow. Got to lube that guitar. Velcro. You never know when you need some Velcro for the pedal board or whatever. Pick up a new pedal on the road. An extra pedal connector. An extra bar. I don't know why I keep this with me, but, you know, why not? And a little microphone. This is just, uh, this came from a, a set for uh, drums. Um, but you never know when you're going go to go to a venue and someone fried their microphone. And you just need something simple to drape over the side of your amp. Um, I've definitely used it a few times. And, oh, the little baby hex wrench. I don't know if you can even see that. That's for... Uh, um, changing the angle on my knee levers. And last for the side compartment, nicotine lozenges. Because when you're playing that gig in a dive bar or a casino, you're eventually going to want a cigarette, and that's naughty. Okay, so let's get into the main compartment. So in this back part, we've got, have to have an extra surge protector Almost everywhere you play, you're going to be fighting for spots. So definitely carry one of those. And you, 
never know about Da Vinci's electricity either. Got my Hilton volume pedal. And one last uh, piece of plastic wear. This case has my extra uh, nylon tuning pieces. It's got a couple extra hex wrenches in there. And um, for quick work, I've got the five millimeter bit that fall that fits uh, my hex tuners, so I can use a ratchet with it. Okay, in this compartment, cords, 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 so many cords. Look at all those cords. That's ridiculous. Why do I have so many cords? And uh, power supply for the volume pedal. Right? That's just that's insane. That's too many. Okay, last compartment. Got the Peterson tuner. Got the leg attachment. I also carry an XLR. Um, just like with the mic, you never know when a venue is going to run out of microphone cords. So, carry one of those too. Capo for some reason. I don't know. Um, some wall warts. Uh, one of those things that bypasses the ground, right? And then USB cords for tuning chargers and all that good stuff. Oh, what's that? Oh, and more um, pedal board adapters, right? So that is everything I carry in that steel seat. All right, so the last thing to check out is by far the most important, the stickers. Ooh, look at all these cool stickers. Some of you might know Brian. He's a steel player in Atlanta. That's his tattoo shop. Got the uh, Sarno sticker, right? A couple stickers my girlfriend made. And my buddy Jake Flint. Yeah, check out that album. It's real good. I played on it, you know? Anyway, hope you enjoyed it. If uh, you dig the seat, you can check check them out at Steel Guitar East, uh, Billy Knoll's shop, and I will see y'all tomorrow.